Hello, welcome to the our course on Coding Learning Connect. Now, in this video, we are learning about how to create a model in Codeigniter, and then uh, so we have created the controller here, and we done with the views. So now we are creating a model for this controller class. We say hello model, and we get from the so what we are trying to do with that model is very simple thing. We pass the username where the name we are uh, getting from the this function one as a parameter and uh, we get the profile from this model okay, we, we have hard code everything we are not accessing the database no do nothing but just to clarify what the model can do for you okay now creating a model give it the save it as file save it as hello underscore model dot php okay then i'm creating my file php Infinite class this could be hello underscore model as you can see this the file name is you can, you can see capitalized first let's list capitalized hello model extends and from ci underscore model this is the base class for the model in coding title and then i'm creating a function public function says get profile Cool. Get profile and I'll say I'm expecting the name and I'm just returning the the profile of the user. So in this in profile I say the send the the full name and the age for now to the hard coding. I'm just returning an array, associative array with with I'm saying full name is my name is Arunod. This is a pod. Okay, and let's put a comma. And I'll create another. My age is 34. Actually, it's not my age. <laughs> okay, that's it. So let's create the method called get profile, and I'm just returning some hard coded data. So this is the the model works, and this is pretty simple. And as I said earlier, you have to copy this code and and put it here because hackers cannot access your file and they can get some information and we can uh, we can re reduce the chances of doing the hackers doing this thing by adding this line okay that's it okay now we're done with the uh, model now we load this model from the controller go to hello.php our controller class and the one our our thing we have loaded here with the V. So now I'm loading my model. Let's go this and load. It says model. I put the name as the hello model. I need to know how, how to load this one. Okay. How how can I access this the data I have already done? So for the so for the demonstration program, I just for that now I just comment these lines we have already there. Okay, let's see. Message coming and I say I print out I get some data from that model that the model we have so I send prof variable to the profile I create a variable called profile and I get the data from the model say this this is how you can do this this and your you can you have to say this some um, hello model the model name your hello model model name of your model class and then we say hello model and get profile that's it now you can you can see uh, i can put some name i have to put some name so i'm now, now getting the profile let's see if we have get the profile or not we have got the profile so print out just this for the some debugging you can the print the content you have available in the profile you can now see what's happening or not Let's go to my browser and go to the this one and say is hello and one and give some name. Oh, what's happening? Some error in hello model line seven. Let's go there. Hello model is nine two now line seven. What's that? Oh, I forgot to this one. Okay, put it like that. Okay, that's fine. Should be okay. So now 
we have printer everything the full name and age now so we have get something from the controller we get something from the model into the controller and we save in the profile and now what we're doing is we pass this profile into the our view class this is how we can do this okay just now I'm implementing this thing and I remove the printer debug option now I'm okay with I have got the profile correctly and I have already created the data array so I just add a new key called profile and then I assign our loaded profile into that okay and I will already pass that data into the view so now I'm again uh, going to my view as say here's my view folder I look for the one dot php that's our view now what I'm doing is I just rather than echoing the my name as n I just say profile and full name okay how did you do that okay I have done this one so we will see whether it's working or not. Oh, I'm sorry, profile to be array. And we'll see how it's working in the browser. You see, this is the header. This is the, our content. And hello, Arnold Sushripal. That's the data we have got from their model. Here, you can change something like this two. I add some two here. See what's happening. Yeah, this is that. It's the data coming from. Now we have created. Now we have get data from the model, and we load it into the, our controller like this, and then we pass that data into our view. And it, uh, in the view, we have shown the full name we got from the profile. So that's the pretty basics of how you can do. I'll, I'll show you something, another thing. So. We say the, you, the hello model name is pretty lengthy. You, you don't need to type this model again and again. So you can rename that one. Say it's not just simply model. Okay. Now rather than saying hello model, you can remove the hello part. You can just say model. Okay. You have renamed hello model to model once you are loading into the controller. Now it's working as it is. It's the same. So that's it for the our model class introduction to the introduction in this code igniter course. And uh, okay, I think you have family with the model, and you can do a lot with that one. Now we you know controller, we and model how we can create this one. In the next video, I'll show you how to connect with the databases. There are a couple of ways to do this. I'm I'm demonstrating the uh, the few uh, those ways too. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.